From the Black Knight satellite to the Foo Fighters of World War II, a captivation with all things unknown have directly influenced humanity's imagination and indeed, it inspired us to reach for such heights in an effort to find out what they are. The secret of nature regarding unknown activity in the sky has led us to categorize these anomalies as unknown in origin. Could these beings really be from somewhere else in space or could it just be enemy activity? To consider an enemy, we immediately think of the Cold War. We think about Russia, but we also think about Chinese involvement in all things unknown. These secretive cultures could be developing advancements in technology that they have not fine-tuned yet. Technologies taken and learned in the closing days of World War II when the great nations of men arrived at the evil conclusions of some men and swore that these things would never be repeated. How exactly did the free world overcome such an enemy, you have to wonder? Were we aided by these sky beings? In 1952, Operation Mainbrace unfolded. This was a military exercise that included NATO allies. The point of the operation was to protect Norway in any future conflicts as the strategic importance was essential for UK and US operations in Europe. Russia declared Operation Mainbrace was an act of war, but there was something much more sinister about this operation that didn't appear to be from Russia. In the months after the world-famous Washington UFO incident, the NATO alliance were left stunned as an apparent curiosity from an unknown force overwhelmed their ability to carry out military instruction. Wait till you hear this. Exercise Mainbrace was the largest peacetime military exercise carried out at this time. The war game style maneuvers simulated NATO's response to a mock attack on Europe. The main brace operation involved 200 ships, 1,000 planes, and 80 soldiers from multiple NATO countries, including significant deployments from the United States and the United Kingdom. In a year dominated by news reports of UFO sightings over Washington, D.C., Pentagon officials half joked with naval intelligence that they should keep an eye out for sky beings during the NATO exercises. They shouldn't have been joking. The first main brace encounter came on September the 13th when the captain and crew of a Danish destroyer spotted a triangular shaped object moving through the night sky at alarming speeds. The unidentified craft emitted a blue glow and was estimated by Lieutenant Commander Schmidt Jensen to be traveling upward of an eye-watering 900 miles per hour unlike any man-made capability. On September 20th, an American newspaper reporter named Wallace Litwin was aboard the USS Franklin D. Roosevelt, an aircraft carrier participating in the main brace exercise. When he saw a commotion on deck, several pilots and flight crew members pointing at a silver sphere in the sky that appeared to be following the fleet. The reporter quickly shot four colored photos of the round object, which he assumed was a weather balloon. Anything from cloud formations to lightning, and especially Venus, by the way, are responsible for most sightings these days. Drones now being a major problem in the research of UFOlogy, but back in 52, it was either Russia or it was the beings in the sky. And Russia said it was not them, and it was widely believed that Russia's capabilities are of that of UK and US technology not far beyond. In the 50s, the U.S. Air Force was conducting some of its top secret research. One such program was known as Project Mogul and involved floating microphone carrying balloons to high altitudes in an attempt to pick up the sound waves generated by Soviet atomic bomb tests. Much of these balloons fell back to the earth in the desert and some have asserted the Roswell crash was such debris. But are they just looking to explain these things as to not spread hysteria? During Operation Mainbrace, pilots of the Royal Air Force noticed a shiny sphere as they flew their jets in formation over the North Sea. When returning to base, one of the pilots looked back and saw the UFO following him. He turned to chase it, but the UFO also turned and sped away, according to the NICAP report. None of the Mainbrace sky sightings were ever explained. What do you guys think of these reports? Russian activity or sky being activity? We will post these links below for you guys to check out for yourself. 
comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.